All right, the funeral service of uh, Thrompe's member and quite a star, Emmanuel Matsane, underway in Soweto. We have those visuals up and running. Let's take you back there now live. represents a generation and led with the Kwaito generation. Program Director Mutunye Premier Wetu Ubabu David Makura Otwele Utinati Silete Amazi Ufemele, Siti Dudu, Nena Mdeni, Nabangani, Bala Mjogus. Ladies and gentlemen, I greet you and I bow our heads to our fallen giant. An agent of change who symbolizes a critical generation, who shaped the music as we know it today. Program Director, Abaneng Abakulume, Wom Jokes, as a family member, as a father, as a colleague, we felt that we should speak about the era he symbolizes and the generation he was part of. The speaker who was speaking earlier is absolutely correct. Ogotilea Generation Lea was the one that stood the ground. It is a generation, as I was indicating earlier, Umonga Meluwe Tufigila Mbalula worked very closely with them. When, in the 90s, we saw the release of Babu Nelson Mandela and the return of many from exile, the opening of doors of freedom and political activity, which coincided with the cultural explosion erupting with the introduction of music, a genre called Kwaito was born. Very distinct, unique in sound, founded on raw talent from dusty township of the streets, replacing what was then Ipabogam music. Like rap and hip-hop in the USA, the genre born in the margins took over and occupied the mainstream, replacing the disco sound that characterized South African bubblegum music. Kwaito was and is street, symbolic of where we come from, the talent from the back rooms, Emma Garaj, Estratin, the corners in our township, where music was embodied, and they took this music from those street corners straight to the studios, and from the studios it went to the radio and our television stations, making huge sales and dominating major awards. You can't speak about Kwaito without mentioning Galawa Jasmine or Triple Nine, stables that gave birth to the likes of Tumpis, Bumshaka, Abashante, Bawa Muffin, to name but a few. Pioneers who shaped the country's musical landscape. Kwaito is a movement that has given rise to Ikom and what we know now as Amapian, a sound that inspired individuals to narrate their day-to-day -day struggles and times post-democracy, replacing our yesterday's struggle songs. Criticized by some as a music with no meaning, Ikwaito challenged all 
and brought engagements about street culture to the fore, influencing South African pop culture, fashion, and the entertainment industry holistically. And you see this with the rise of radio stations like UIFM, clothing brands like Eluxion Culture, which made wearing a sporty Nama All Star very cool. May the soul of Wandi Nzimande, the creator of Luxion Culture, rest in power. We are losing great pioneers of Kwaito as a cultural movement and a generation as Pelelang. Today we bid farewell to Um Jokes, a member of Trumpis and Galawa Jesmi, a company whose roots can be traced throughout not just the province, but the nation alike. A company which unearthed many rough diamonds, producing shining stars, magnifying the voice of people grappling with the new South Africa and attempting to carve their place within it. Galawa showed the black child that it's possible to succeed with your innate talent. By turning the music industry on its head, deriving great economic activity within it for its individuals. Inspired by the great story of Iguaito, we come here today to bid farewell to a great man. A great man whose impact will far outlive his years on this earth. Because this is a generation which stands far above men we correctly indicate that they shaped the South African musical industry. They shaped what we know as history today. Our plea to the pioneers and those who led with them. What today, a music gate must never forget its roots and where it comes from. You were able to bring the street to the mainstream. You were able to raise the consciousness of society through your songs, that whilst we're living in a post-democratic South Africa and enjoying and attempting to grapple with some of the challenges and benefits that the society has brought us, you are able to raise these critical issues. And through your songs, like Sikia Ngoma, and so forth and so forth, People danced, but were able to be engaged intellectually, raising their consciousness. This is a role that music must never lose. And those from the Galawa Jesmi family, we say don't play too far from the current generation and the songs that they play. Let them learn from your lessons so that we don't make or think that music must be identified only with putting a savanna on your head or on your back. Let us ensure that the music does not lose its ability to raise our national consciousness. We bid you farewell, Jokes. You remain a pioneer, and you will be laid at the Hero's Acre, along with many greats, alongside Robi Malinga, an equally a great pioneer and a giant in his own right, because that is where you, just, you belong. To the family, City Tutu, you spoke very fondly of a man who was a uniter, a man who taught you critical lessons, not about materialism, but critical lessons that you ought to take into your own future. Remain strong, because in your unity, his memory lives on. Servant.